So I got this comment that you guys see on the screen right here from somebody about the bullseye snakehead. Now, I love catching bullseye snakehead, love making the videos, and I love the comments I get on them because everybody has just an opinion on, on these fish. Like, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't with these fish. Like, if I release them, I catch crap. If I don't release them, I catch crap. So when I got this comment, I thought it was really interesting. So I took it upon myself to call the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission to get an answer from the horse's mouth. So what you're about to see is my conversation with the people at the FWC to put this to bed once and for all. And uh, sorry about the way I look. I know I'm wearing a polo shirt, which is really weird for most of you guys that are on the channel. I just got home from work, but I wanted to do this. So check this out. So if you were to uh, catch a bullseye snakehead out of one of the canals, what's the, uh, what's the regulation? Do you have to release them? What are you supposed to do with them? Uh, it just tells me it's, it's illegal to possess them. Let me just check something else. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the rules and regulations. I am going to get you through to our exotic species hotline, though, okay? Great, thank you. You're very welcome. Well, one moment, please. <laughs> Exotic Species Hotline. Interesting music. Kind of like a cross between like reggae and like... ...would like information about our exotic pet amnesty program, press 1. If you are calling about conditional or prohibited species permits or have questions about permitting, press 2. For questions about non-native species or to report sightings or captures of non-native species from the wild, please press zero. Zero? To hear this message again, Wait a please zero? press nine. Let's do zero. Let's see. It was kind of a cross between like reggae music and 70s porn. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you? Good. I have a question um, about bullseye snakehead, and uh, I'm in I'm in South Florida, um, West Palm Beach, Broward County area. Okay. Um, I've been catching a lot of them lately, and I want to know what like the regulations are. Like, is like when I catch one, am I supposed to release it? What? Am I, is it illegal to release it once I catch it? Um, I, I just, I, I want to see what the rules and regulations are for catching a uh, bullseye snakehead. Okay, so the answer to your question is yes to everything that you just said. So, <laughs> let me clarify. Okay. So, you, you, you can catch them, no problem. They're okay. They're non-native fish. You can eat them if you so desire. That's completely fine. There's no bag limit on them. Okay. You can re-release them in the exact same waterway you caught them. So if you were standing in the bank and you caught it and you don't want it, you can put it right back. That is completely legal. Okay. What you may not do is take it out of there, put it into a live well or a bucket of some kind, and move it to some other water. That would be illegal and that would get you in trouble. Right. Relocation of the non-native fish, or non-native fish, just like any other non-native fish, exactly. correct? You got it. Okay. Exactly. But since they are non-native, they do not have a, those do not have a bag limit at all. So, I mean, if you wanted to catch a million of them, you're more than welcome to. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, <laughs> You know, and if you like, you say if you want to eat them, that's fine. If you wanted to take them home and you know dispatch them there and feed them to your puppies or whatnot, you're welcome to do that also. But you may not re-release them in any other waterway. Okay, so it's completely legal to catch them. Completely legal to release them right where you caught them. No penalty, no fine, nothing like that. If you don't want to harvest the fish. Correct. The only time it's going to get you in trouble is if you moved water bodies with that, with it, and then turned it loose someplace else. Okay. All right. That was my only question. Yep. And that's the e that's the easy lowdown on that. Just make sure that you really are catching snakehead and not bowfin. Not bowfin. Look 
really close together. Yeah, the. Uh, uh, but it sounds like you probably are pretty smart to know the difference between the two. Oh yeah, no, no, definitely. They got the longer, uh, they got the longer anal fin. They're they're a little bit flatter in the head. You, there's definitely a difference between the two. <laughs> Yeah, the anal fin is the one that, that that's pretty much straight up. That's going to tell you all day long. So I'm glad you said that. I'm like, yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> explain it. So let me give you our direct line to the hotline. Okay. So we don't have to be transferred a billion times if you have any other info or any other things that pop up. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's 888. Okay, it's 888. Okay. 483. Okay. Four six eight one. Four six eight one. Great. Yep. It spells I've got one. If you're a nerd like me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Ryan? No, that's it. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Have a great day. You do the same. Have a great weekend. Thank you, you too. All right, bye-bye. So, uh, yeah, there that is. Um, guess I'm not going to jail. And guess I'm not having to pay $500. So, yeah. Not illegal to release them in Florida. Not illegal to possess them if you catch them. It is illegal, however, to remove the snakehead from the body of water that you catch it in and move it to another one. So before you start posting things on my channel, on other people's channels, get your information correct. Call the FWC. You guys just heard the phone number. You can get it from the horse's mouth. I'll catch you guys in the next one.